Hi there, welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. So when is a rough day a good day? You know, you get a lot of days that they're very long and hard. You say, man, that was a really rough day. Here's a new way to think about some of those. They're really a good day. When? When that day was spent in line with some strategy you wanted to put in place. So for example, if you're in a commercial cleaning company and you're trying to teach everyone about a new piece of equipment, let's say back vacs. Well, it was a long day, you're trying to show people. Some people gave you a hard time about it because they're not used to it, it's, they're unaccustomed to it, that happens. But you know, you're trying to get everyone on a new piece of equipment so you can save time, save money, make increased profits, it's a good thing. So those rough days are really a good day because you may be making the most progress you're ever going to make on the roughest days. You know, the day when it's all done, that's an easy day. The important days when you're getting the most done are the rough days. Same thing, let's say, in a residential cleaning company. Let's say you're trying to change the way you lay out your routes for all your maid service cleaners. Again, that's a long day maybe getting together with everyone, explaining it. There's ups and downs, there's mistakes, there's some resistance and blowback. But you know what? You work it through, you communicate. Seems like though a rough day. Again, no, maybe a great day and maybe try to encourage yourself and say, now nah, that was a really important day because I made huge progress. Why? That, that rough day was in line with some strategy you're trying to put in place. That's the defining question. Try to encourage yourself with that because that's important to remember on rough days. Next time we'll look at a whole different way of handling rough days when the nature of it is different. We'll talk about it next time. Till then remember, you can do this. You really can.